everyone, I'm Gemma Stafford, professional chef, host of Bigger Bolder Baking and the proud brand ambassador for Good Cook. Recently, I shared with you a recipe of how you can make a chocolate mousse in 10 minutes using some of my favorite Good Cook products. Right now, because the weather is starting to heat up, I'm gonna show you how you can make a frozen s'more, the perfect treat for summertime. The recipe can be found on goodcook.com along with all of the information about the Good Cook products that I use. Okay, let's get started with our first layer, which is graham cracker crust. Into a large bowl, add in your graham cracker crumbs. Next, add in some melted butter. And then all you want to do is simply mix these two ingredients together. So I use a lot of graham crackers, but if you don't have them in your country, do not worry. Use any kind of a plain vanilla biscuit. Like in Ireland, for instance, we would use digestives and they would work really well. Okay, lovely, this is looking good. All the cookies have kind of soaked up some butter. This is gonna make a great crust. Now it's time to get this into our tin. Go ahead and add half of your graham crackers into your lined tin. And then with a spatula or even your hand, just go ahead and press the cookie crumbs into the tin nice and firm. You wanna make sure they're real packed in there because we want it to stay together when we cut this into bars. Now the reason I asked you to reserve half is because we're going to put the other bit on top when this is all finished to make a delicious ice cream sandwich. No. Okay, this is looking good. I'm gonna pop this into the fridge and just let the butter firm up for around 10 to 15 minutes and we're gonna get started on our next layer which is chocolate ganache. So over here to my side, I've got some cream heating up about to come to a simmer ready for our ganache. Now I am using a good cook two quart non-stick saucepan and I find the size really useful in the kitchen when you're just doing small amounts of things and also for making ban marie's it's really really useful. Over here in this bowl I have some good quality bittersweet chocolate. Now I like to use 70%, 72%, something that has a little bit bitter and a tiny bit sweet works really really well in this dessert. So my cream has just come to a simmer, I'm going to remove it and pour it over my chocolate. Now. Here is a tip when it comes to making ganache. Do not stir it. Let these two ingredients sit together and let the heat of the cream melt the chocolate. We're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then at the end, we're going to mix it to make sure that there's no lumps. Mixy, 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 no more lumps. This is looking good. Now we're gonna take this big bowl of deliciousness and pour it over our graham cracker crust. Okay, so your ganache will be kind of runny. Go in with a spatula and just spread it into all your nooks and crannies. Can't forget those guys. In you go. Okay, lovely, delicious. We're gonna pop this into the freezer and let this chocolate layer set. Now we're gonna move on to our next layer. We already have our cookies, we got our chocolate, now we're talking marshmallow and you are not gonna believe what I'm gonna do. So this next layer I am really excited about. This is something that I'm really well known for online. Two ingredient, no machine ice cream. Just two ingredients and you do not need an ice cream machine. Your mind is going to be blown once you see this. We're gonna start out in a nice large bowl and we're going to add in some whipping cream. So now all we're going to do is whip up this cream until you see soft peaks. Now you can do this on a stand mixer but I'm actually going to use an electric hand mixer and that works really well too. So in case you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to Good Cook's YouTube channel because I have made pink velvet cupcakes, chocolate and peanut butter cake, and a decadent chocolate mousse. Okay, soft peaks, this is looking great. Now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients. So into the whipped cream, I'm going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract for extra flavor followed by a really important ingredient, condensed milk. Now I use fat-free because I find it's not as sweet, but you can use regular, sweetened, unsweetened, whatever you like. Just pour that in there. So it's kind of crazy to think that this makes ice cream, but by whipping the cream, you're eliminating the need to churn it. And then also the condensed milk is the liquid sugar, which makes your ice cream scoopable. So they're both really important ingredients. Okay, lovely. So this is whipped up again. It's kind of stiff peaks-ish. So now we're gonna add in our secret ingredient. So here I have some toasted marshmallows that I put under the grill to let them get nice and brown. We are now going to take these and stir them into my ice cream. Then just one more time, we're gonna go in with our mixer and just break up the marshmallows until it's fully incorporated throughout the ice cream. So now there is our ice cream in no time at all. Now we're going to put this layer on top of our ganache. With a spatula, just spread your ice cream all the way into the corners and just flatten it out on top to make it nice and even. Seriously, mmm. One of my most favorite ice cream flavors, toasted marshmallow. Okay, we are gonna pop this guy into the freezer for around half an hour, 45 minutes or so. We just want the ice cream to firm up a little bit before we add on our very last layer. So my ice cream is firmed up. I have my reserved cookie crumbs. So all I'm going to do is do the exact same thing that I did for the bottom on the top. Just gonna to scatter these over 
and then just press it nice and firm all over the top to give you that lovely kind of a sandwich crust. And once this goes back into the freezer, it will firm up, the butter will set, and you'll be able to cut it into perfect bars. Okay, lovely, this is looking great. We're gonna pop it back into the freezer for a minimum of say four to six hours. You can also make it overnight, and then we're gonna get ready to eat them. So check out my frozen s'more, it is looking fantastic. And as you can see, when I peel back the paper, you have all those lovely layers that we built. Cookie, chocolate, marshmallow, ice cream, everything that you would want in a s'more. I like to be very generous when it comes to my desserts. So I'm going to cut myself a nice big bar. Oh my gosh, this is definitely a behemoth of a dessert. Okay, so come here to me and check this out. How insane does that look? Check out that thick chocolate ganache layer and then the homemade toasted marshmallow ice cream that we made. I mean, seriously, if this is the first dessert that you make this summer, you're off to a good start. Oh man. I mean, seriously, homemade ice cream, chocolate, two layers of cookie crumbs. This is without a doubt, probably one of the best desserts you're gonna have this summertime. Mm. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. For the recipe and more information about the products, go to goodcook.com.